morning guys so i literally just came out the shower and i was just thinking in the shower what kind of youtube video should i make and i was just busting my brains because you know i just want to keep this content going and i came out the shower and my lace was like this so i'm like you know what i'm gonna make a video showing you guys how to fix your hair when your lace gets like this this happens i know this happens to some of you guys when you get in the shower you forgot to tie down your lace and it's like what can i do like how do i fix this no problem i got you i'm gonna show you how to turn this back into a laid frontal and yeah just keep on watching then get ready and get dressed and i'll come back and show you how we're gonna fix this madness hey guys so i'm back i'm back i'm back baby girl don't cry don't cry I know your birthday's in like three days. I know your baby showers is probably in like two days. I know you're probably going out tonight for your boyfriend's party, but don't cry. I got you. Don't text your stars and curse her out. I got you. <laughs> so let me just take my hair down. It's okay. You just like take, you just wanted to take a really good shower. Like this happens. Sometimes you just don't want to, you know, do all the work of tying your hair down. Like, you just want to take a really good shower. I get it. So, and that was me. I just wanted to take a really good shower. I'm just going to really, like, uh, as you can see, um, even me, I'm human. <laughs> I like to just go to bed, you know? But don't worry, I'm gonna fix this because I cannot go outside like this. So like, why not show you guys how to fix your own hair as well? We want to fix this because this is not cute. We can't go outside like this. We're about to cry and no. So we're gonna fix this right now. Your lace is not, it's effed up right now, but we're gonna fix it, okay? We're definitely going to fix it. So, let's get into so what we're gonna start with doing, we're gonna use, you can use a paper towel or a cotton swab, um, whichever you have, I'm gonna use a paper towel and you wanna go in with 91% alcohol and you just wanna kinda soak a little bit the paper towel. And we're just gonna go in and trying to like raise our lace up. See how it's lifting? We're just gonna try to like raise all that up. See all that glue's coming off? Don't worry guys, I got y'all. So just clean that area. Make sure all this white glue is gone. I'm gonna do the whole front the same way. And you just have to do the front. Don't try to lift your whole lace off. We're not lifting our entire lace off. We're just cleaning the front. Let's take your time. And I'm just using my finger and separating the cap from my wig. You just want to make sure everything is completely clean. Watch your eye. Make sure everything is completely cleaned. All that glue, make sure it's cleaned. So now that our forehead is clean, we have to clean our lace. So we're gonna use the same method and just use the rubbing alcohol and put it on our lace. You have to clean your lace because you don't want all this white stuff on your lace at all either. So you're just gonna clean it off. If it's hard for you to do this, you can take the wig off and just clean it. But I'm gonna do it like this because I want y'all to see like how I'm cleaning it off. You see how that the glue is rolling off? This is kind of like a messy kind of little thing because you need all this little glue to come off. I'm gonna make sure all this is gone. You have to make sure all this is gone. We're gonna like try to get all this glue now out of our hair. And this happens like if you don't know how to protect your lace, and I'm gonna do a video as well um, on how to protect your lace because that's another thing. Just be um, that satin, you don't need like the satin wrap 
that's not the only thing you need to protect your lace. That's not that's not the only thing that's going to protect your lace. That's good for when you're going into bed. But when you go in the shower, that's a whole different ball game. Like you need more than a satin wrap to protect your lace, okay? So, I will um if y'all want a definitely a video on on what to use and what you need to protect your lace for a more long lasted install just comment that below and i would definitely try to get those that to you oh my gosh i'm actually talking while doing my hair this is not that bad okay um i would definitely get that video to you guys so this is how our lace is looking not too bad, not too bad. We can fix this back with our got to be spray. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix this back with our got to be spray. And then we're gonna go back and mold this wig down. Once we pull it up, see, we're gonna fix this. Don't worry guys, we're definitely going to fix this. I took the wig off to just give that a better look of everything. The only reason I said don't take the wig off because if you don't know how to place it back on your head, it's going to be difficult if you take it completely off and try to position it back. But if you know how to position it back on your head, then you should be fine. I mean, your stylist cut it to your head, so it should be easy to position it back on your head. So we're going to go over our got to be spray because we want to fix our ball cap back. And basically, we're going to pull our ball cap forward like so just pull it forward completely forward and we're gonna go in with our got to be spray and just spray i'm using the comb to kind of like push the cap down and now that we have it like positioned how you want it i'm gonna go in more with my got to be spray and just spray it. So this is basically how our ball cap is looking now. If you choose to redo your entire ball cap, you can. Um, I definitely have a video on how to do a detailed ball cap and I will definitely link that below. I'm gonna go in with a pair of scissors and where you see like the um, rolled up parts, like here, you're just gonna cut it off. So you're just gonna go in and basically cut it off like that. Boom. Just cut it completely off. Anything that you think is rolled up, just cut it off. It goes off. So you see how a ball cap is like coming back. Back to life, back to reality. <laughs> okay, guys. So our cap is back down and like I said, if you know how to do a ball cap and if you want to know how to do a detailed ball cap, I will definitely link it below. But if you're someone and you just want to kind of put your wig back on and that happen, you don't want to really take the cap off because your stylist already put makeup on it. You don't know what makeup to use. A whole bunch of stuff like that. So um, that's why we kept the same cap on. You could fix it. So once you put out, got to be, we cut the excess rolled up parts. You just go in and kind of... Um, clean around the hairline again we have our cap back on everything's good so now we're gonna go in with our wig if you didn't take your wig off it should still be in the same position your stylist had it so we're gonna kind of put it back on and right here where this little thing is where my part was so I know that for a fact. This is basically reinstalling your wig now. I also have a detailed video on how to reinstall your wig. I just did. So we're basically kind of reinstalling our wig in a way. So we fixed that part and now we're gonna put our wig back on. We're gonna go in with our glue and I'm gonna use two layers of glue like i said i don't use i like to use a lot of layers because i don't like i just don't like me using that much layers of glue um and i don't keep my wigs on for that long so that's a reason 
So I'm just gonna go in and just put the glue on my forehead, not on my hairline, in front of my hairline. That's where I'm gonna put the glue. And I'm only gonna do two layers. And then I'm gonna go in with my comb and kind of like spread that. And you kind of want to melt the cap into the glue so you could get the melted cap look as well. And you want to make sure it dries completely clear. I'm not going to go in with a blow dryer and try to rush the process. You see how it's drying clear there? You want to make sure it dries completely clear naturally. Um, yeah, so don't go in with the blow dryer. You don't have to. Not in a rush, take your time, especially if you're doing this yourself, take your time. Anything can be fixed in this world, okay? Even your hairline. <laughs> so just take your time and we're just gonna wait until this dries. So yeah guys, just comment below more videos you guys want me to do. Like I said, this was really a last minute. I just came out the shower and I saw my hair was like this, which is, you know, regular for me. And I was just like, hmm, probably somebody out there that's happened to, or a lot of people this happened to, and you don't know what to do. You think you wasted your money in your install. And this happens when also, if you're not really new to glue and you don't know how to really protect your lace, things like this will happen. So I just figured this video would be helpful for someone. And we're just gonna wait till it dries. As you can see, like it's drying. So I'm gonna wait a little bit until it dries. Um. And then I'm gonna put the second layer and then I'm gonna put my wig down. I'm gonna go in with the second layer of glue and I'm putting my um my back of my comb in my rubbing alcohol to remove the glue that we used the first time because you don't want it to, you know, kind of mix in. And I'm gonna go in and spread that second layer of glue. And this is the last layer I'm gonna use. If you want to per go in with more layers, you can. You don't have to stop at two, but I personally just stop at two. I'm gonna wait till it dries. We're just gonna, it dried, so we're just gonna, um, you want to lay it, and like I said, watch my last video on how to lay a reinstall frontal wig because basically that's what we're doing right now. And you basically want to lay it on the glue or in front of the glue. Do not go behind the glue. Behind the glue is not what we want to do. It's either in front or on. This is a very concentrating step. Make sure you put it, like I said, it's either on the glue or in front of the glue, never behind the glue. Our wig is back on. So now, since our wig is on, we're just gonna clean up the front. So we're gonna clean up the front. All the white stuff is gone, as y'all can see, and we're just basically gonna really clean up the front. So what we're gonna do now is go in our blow dryer just to clean up everything. The major problem is gone, that white looking thing. So I'm gonna go in the blow dryer. I'm gonna go in medium heat and just melt the lace in. some baby hairs right here i'm gonna fix any part that you feel like is lifting just add a little bit more glue like a tad bit and you're gonna take out a little bit of hairs in the front to make your baby hairs most likely if you did have a natural hairline um and if you don't put it down right you can do baby hairs to cover the lace so this is a little trick 
that can probably also help to make your install go back to you know looking real real good is to add some you know natural baby hairs in the front so yeah you want to take out like little pieces nothing too crazy so you can do two things you can go in with extra glue and put it right here or you can go in with your scissors and just cut it off Right here too, I'm just gonna go in and just chop that off as well. Boom! Yes, yes, honey, yes, yes, yes. So now, now that our lace down here is good, I'm gonna take out, you know, just a tad bit of baby hairs as well. Nothing too crazy. Don't take it out and go crazy. Just take out a little bit. So, as you can see, like my cap right here is kind of too light. So, I'm going to go in with a little bit of makeup and just put some makeup right there. Dab that in. Um, I didn't add no product. This is what I have on my foundation brush, really. Um just to make you know make that look more natural you want to go in with your eyebrow razor and the reason you use an eyebrow razor and not a oh, scissors is because if you use a scissors it's going to give you more of a sharp a sharp cut and we want more like a jagged cut so we're going to use our eyebrow razor and you're just going to cut in more of a diagonal and just cut those pieces If you want your baby hairs to look natural, the less, the thinner your, your hair is that you took out, the thinner your baby hairs would look. If you took out a lot, like thick, if you took out a lot of hair, then the thicker your baby hairs is gonna look. So try to take out real thin pieces if you want your baby hairs to look real, like natural. I'm gonna go in with mousse and mousse this back and then put our elastic band on. And just comb everything back to give it like an extra hole, my got to be. This is just what I like to do. Like an extra like hold, I like to put got to be spray. Go on with the elastic band and just put it directly on the lace. All right, so now that our lace is down, we're gonna take off the elastic band. And now we're gonna create some baby hairs. I'm not a baby hair goat. This is just what I've been like learning to do lately. And I basically create my baby hairs with mousse and gel. This is what really been helping me lately. And I like the consistency. When I use mousse by itself, my lace kind of lift. And when I don't use it, um, my lace don't lift. So I'm just going to, you know, play around. Create some nice little baby hairs. Okay, so we did our baby hairs. If you guys want an in-depth video, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a baby hair pro, so I had to do this off camera because I had to see exactly what I was doing. And like I said, I'm now learning the baby hairs thing. So it takes me a little longer than the average baby hair go, you know? So, um, we did our baby hairs. Just say if you did you do your baby hairs, the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go in, we're gonna go with your wrapping strip like this and just tie down your baby hairs so it can be like nicely 
you know, you just dip them. So we want it to be first clean around your hairline, just a little bit, you know. I'm going go in with our wrapping strip and just wrap that around our baby hairs. Do, like if you have to do your makeup or anything, just do that. I'm about to just do my makeup and I'm gonna come back out to you guys and show y'all like the end look of everything. But we're basically done. So let me just do my makeup and come back and show you guys the end look. Hey guys, so I came back and I came to show you guys the finished completed look. Um, but I want to make, as you can see, my baby hairs is like really, really soft. So yeah, this is really the entire look from what we just did, from how y'all saw my hair when I came out the shower to this. So you can definitely fix anything. And I know this is like, Job well done, job well done. So anytime you see that your lace is turning white or is lifting, you just have to fix it. And I hope this video is very helpful for you guys. Um, if you learned something, I'm happy. Um, if you felt like this video is very helpful, if you enjoyed watching it, if you learned some new tricks and tips, just, you know, thumbs up your girl, drop your comments, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.